Hey guys, today is May 1st, 2012, and I will be fertilizing or side dressing my corn today. As you can probably tell by looking at my corn, I'm, I'm way past overdue on fertilizing. You want to fertilize your corn when it's about knee high. I still have a bunch of corn that's still knee high, so, and I've been working a lot, so this is the only chance I get to do it. Corn is a heavy feeder of nitrogen. So when you fertilize it, you want to give it a nitrogen boost, basically. So I've got blood meal. You can pick this up at uh, your local Lowe's or Home Depot or feed and seed shop. It's got 12% nitrogen, 0% phosphorus, and 0% potassium. Um, the first time you fertilize your corn, you want to give it mostly nitrogen because as your corn grows, it uses a lot of nitrogen and uh, may become nitri nitrogen deficient. So some of your corn stalks may start turning purple. If you see that on your corn, you want to give it a boost of nitrogen. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Come on, let's get started. All right, guys, what I got here is I got four rows of Golden Queen and Silver Queen all mixed in together. And these rows are about 25 feet long. So what you want to do is you want to take a hoe, any type of hoe will do or any type of shovel or whatever. You want to go down one of your rows. In the middle of your row, Dig a furrow. Right down the middle. Alright guys, I'm not sure if you could tell, but there's a light furrow all the way down the corn there. On each row. You can kind of tell on that one. All the way down, right in the middle. What, it, what happens is when, when the corn roots grow, the corn roots grow in between each row. So that's why you fertilize the middle of the row. And for a 25 foot row, it says to give it about three cups per row. And this is what it looks like right here. Okay, I uh, fertilized each row. And now what you want to do is you just want to cover it up. You basically just want to cover both sides up just like this. All the way down. Alright guys, I'm done fertilizing my corn. Um, 
you don't have to use blood meal if you don't if you can't find it in your local area. Um, make sure the nitrogen and whatever you buy is higher than phosphorus and potassium because corn is a heavy nitrogen feeder. They love nitrogen. And again, you want to fertilize when your plants are about knee high and again whenever your silk is forming. Cross your fingers, wish me luck. We're going to get some corn this year. Thank you all for watching. Protect your plants from aphids. So if you see a ladybug on any of your plants, don't kill it. They're good luck.